Okay, this is the second Photoshop tutorial. And for this tutorial, we're gonna use um, the power lines. All right. Um, so in this tutorial, we're gonna use the clone and stamp tool again. One of the things I want you to notice is that I was just using the clone and stamp tool in a previous image. And if I just start painting right away, okay, you're gonna notice it's going to sample from that other image. Okay, so my target was set up in that previous image and now it's bringing that in. So you can clone and stamp across multiple documents. Okay, that's not what I wanna do here. So I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo. Okay, I'm gonna unlock my background layer. All right, um, in previous versions of Photoshop, it would not let you paint at all if your background layer was locked. So I'm actually a little surprised that it was able to do that. So in this one, what I want you to notice is that the background color here is a gradual transition or gradient from dark blue almost to white when you get to the far end of the horizon. Um, and so one of the problems that that presents when we want to get rid of these power lines and we want to get rid of the, um, the, uh, the high tension uh, or the power tower down there, right? Um, one of the problems that's going to present is I don't have the same color in any place on here. So if I, if I all and sample from down here and then I come up here and start cloning, it doesn't look right. Okay. So this is an example of where your sample is really, really critical. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sample from right beside, and then I'm going to move my mouse over to the left, and then I'm going to start painting down. Okay. And what you'll notice is because I'm right beside it, right? My circle is right next to the crosshair. I'm getting the same tonal values. I'm getting the same color values, right? As I clone. All right, if I'm off even just a little bit, okay, so if I come over here and I sample here and then I start up here, okay, it's going to be really obvious, okay? I'm still getting that gradual fade, but it's not matching up with what I had before, okay? So what I'd like you to do is take a few minutes, all right, and work on getting rid of all of the, um, the power lines and the tower in the back of this photo. You can also get rid of the sunspot if you want, Okay, when you're done, copy and paste the finished image into the assessment.